with Travel Girl. All right, so after you do a walking tour of all of the great sites, there are a few off the beaten trail, like the local bookshop, or that's actually a hospital, and the first platform shoe right there. But I still haven't gotten on a gondola yet. I've always wanted to ride in a gondola, but wouldn't it be a little bit more fun if I rode the gondola? Let's learn how. And so I'm walking to get a lesson with Ro Bennett. Put the right foot in the same line with the lock. Okay. okay. No more forward, no more backward, but in line. Okay. And the left foot in the back, in the middle of the boat. The distance between the legs is the distance of your walking step. Okay. Okay. Put the left hand where they all change color, close uh -huh. to the body. And right hand outside of the body. The distance between the hand is the distance of your shoulder. Okay. It starts with arm down near the body. Mm -hmm. Put horizontal blade. Turn the wrist in the back, like speed up the scooter. Uh, okay. And the dime look back. Okay. Twist underneath your arm and they will enter in the water and push forward. Now push with the left leg and bend with right knee. Okay. Extend your arm, the hand stay in line with you. Hmm, the gondoliers make this look so easy. I was a little okay. slow Turn to learn. Knee. I was hoping I could get the hang of it halfway through. Vertical blade inside water, horizontal outside. Turn, yes. Very good. Push, no problem. I'm Don't glad worry. And it was a good thing I had someone helping me row in the back of it. Push. and come back. And then I started to really get my stroke down. At the back. <laughs> but then my skills were really tested when we went out into some open water. It was a little bit more like surfing than I thought and definitely more difficult on the end than in the middle. So I think I'll go back to that. And just like that, I became a gondolier at Robert. Well, sort of, but I was at least more like a Venetian than a tourist.